Hello everyone. I'm so excited to show you this mystery picture can, that I created for my students to practice the difference between who's the contraction and who's the possessive. What you see right now is what the students would see once they have completely correctly completed the activity. Now, if I want to see what they would see when they first open it, I'm going to delete these answers. I've added an extra set of answers over here on the side just for my own ease as I'm showing you how this works. These answers would not be there when your students first open the activity. This would be completely white over here. But you can see when they first open the activity, you'd have a large white space here, some gray boxes, and some sentences. So I look at my first sentence, blank going on vacation with us. And I know that this is the contraction. So I go ahead and I type my contraction and hit either enter or down. And part of my picture appears. The question is, what happens when I get the answer incorrect? So number two, blank sent suitcase is this. I know should be possessive, but I want to see what happens if my students were to answer it incorrectly. So I go ahead, type the contraction, hit enter nothing happens. But when I go back and I type the correct answer, a little bit more of my picture appears. And so with each correct answer, a little bit more of the picture appears until when the student has correctly filled in all of them, the entire picture is there, nothing is left white. This is great for the students because they can quickly check themselves as they go. It's also great for you because you are able to very quickly at a glance know if the student completed the assignment and if the assignment was completed correctly. So let me show you how I was able to make this happen. The very first thing you need to do is create your picture. Color it in, get it exactly the way you want it to appear when the student has completed the assignment. And then you're going to select some cells at random. So I am going to select these random cells. When I was doing this, these cells were blue. They were not white, but I made them white so I knew which cells went with number one for the purposes of this video. It is very important that the cells that you select are all the same color. You can only conditionally format cells hooked to a particular answer for one color. So in this case, they were all blue. Now to help myself stay organized, remember which cells I'd done and which ones I hadn't done, I went up and I changed these cells to white so that I would know those cells were completely finished. And then I was able to click on conditional formatting. And I was able to add another rule. I chose custom formula, and then I entered my formula. Equal sign, dollar sign, column letter, dollar sign, column or row number, equal sign, and I put my answer within quotation marks. If you're doing a math activity and you have a numerical answer, you do not have to use the quotation marks but since this is a text answer, I needed them. And the final step was going down to select my color. So that formula again was equal sign, dollar sign, the column letter of your answer, dollar sign, the row number of your answer, equal sign, and your answer inside quotation marks. Once I click done, I'm finished with that one. And I am able to, if I want, check myself by coming back. I click here, type my answer, and my colors come back. So how do I do that again? I came over, I randomly selected some cells, all of the same color. I came up, I changed the cells to be white so I could remember which cells I had already conditionally formatted. I chose format, conditional formatting. I added a rule. I chose 
custom formula and I entered my formula equal sign dollar sign answer column row answer column letter dollar sign answer column or row number equal sign I put my answer in the correct answer in quotation marks and I chose my color yellow in this case click done and now this uh, because the answer isn't there the cells are white if I correct click the if I type the incorrect answer the cells say white but once I type the correct answer spelled correctly the cells color in I hope this helps you to better understand how this activity works and a little bit about how you might be able to create a similar activity of your own for your own students.